everybody, it's Alder here, and I'm gonna guide you through Wootility V5. And you can actually download the Wootility desktop app, but you can also customize your settings in the Wootility browser. In both cases, you don't need to run all of this stuff on the background constantly. If you're done saving it to your keyboard, you can actually just close it and, you know, be on your way. But yeah, let's get started with the Wootility V5. The Wootility detects your keyboard using the connection status color. When it's green, it means your keyboard is detected. If it's red, the keyboard is not found. Always ensure that the indicator is green to save your settings to the keyboard. You can also click the My Devices button to switch keyboards if you happen to own multiple booting devices. Or you can also connect new ones here. You can navigate through all features using the tab on the left. These are the main settings you might want to adjust frequently. So let's start off with the My Profiles tab. Here you can actually create and manage all your profiles. You'll notice two different sections, the onboard profiles and the inactive profiles. The onboard profiles are pretty much the profile where you can actually be swapping instantly to using quick access buttons like A0, A1, A2, A3, Mode and the Cycle button. And the inactive profiles, these require utility to be open in the background and these are also stored locally rather than on a keyboard itself. Within this tab you can create a new profile or import one from others. When creating a new profile you can choose from various presets or if you prefer to start from scratch select the custom profile. Then simply click continue and choose a border color and avatar for better recognition. You can also name your profile here and don't worry, you can change the name later as well. If you still have onboard storage slots, you can save the profile directly to your keyboard. Otherwise, it will be stored locally as an inactive profile. And at the top of the page, you can see the profile you are currently editing, along with the shortcut key assigned to it. For example, in my case, I use the mode button, so the mode button will actually show up on the right. But if you actually click on the profile, you can actually see that also the FN1 and 1 button is assigned to the typing profile. And the FN1 and 2 button is actually assigned to the gaming profile. So this pretty much helps you remembering those hotkeys. And also, as you can see, when you click on it, you can also swap between different profiles very easily if you want to. When you make adjustments, you can use the undo and redo icons in the top right or use the hotkeys to speed up the process. Any changes will turn the save to keyboard button yellow. Always press this to ensure your settings are actually stored on the keyboard. Now let's move on to the actuation point tab and go over some useful tips for adjusting settings. You can press the select all keys button and all your keys will be selected. Or use the ctrl plus a hotkey. To discard your selection, click on the discard selection button or press escape on your keyboard. When you click and drag your mouse outside of the key selection area, you can actually make a selection and this way select a whole bunch of keys. When you click and drag within the key selection area, you can actually select multiple keys wherever your mouse is going. When you double click on a key, all keys with the same value will also be selected. When you actually change values of your keys, you can actually see the color change gradually depending on how low or big the number is that you have chosen. This way you can also easily spot what keys have lower sensitivities than others. The same also applies for rapid trigger settings as you can see. When we head over to the RGB settings tab, you can actually change the colors by selecting one from the bottom left and click or drag it across the keys you want to apply to. To turn off specific RGBs, select the black color and apply it to those keys. So when we move to the light indicator tab, here you can actually adjust settings related to the ATHE light bar. The profile effects tab allow you to add effects that only apply to the current profile, while the global effects apply the effects to all the profiles on your keyboard. Next is the remap tab, where you can actually reassign any key on your keyboard. You can also drag keys over to swap positions or simply click on the key if you want to modify it and press a button on your keyboard to assign that specific key to it. You can also map multimedia keys from here. The advanced key tab might seem intimidating at first, but I encourage you to experiment with its features. Here you find options like Rappy Snappy, Snappy Tappy, DKS, Mod Tab and Toggle Key. So don't hesitate to explore and test different settings. And then the Gamepad tab. This lets you enable controller-like movement in games. 
When the game bed toggle is activated, you can assign joystick movement to specific keys. But keep in mind that this setting applies to all profiles globally. There is also a separate tab for settings and help, which contain options you typically configure once and leave it as is. Some key settings to note are first, the N key rollover disable option, and it's useful if you have trouble accessing your BIOS or if you're using the keyboard on consoles. If you experience any stability issues, you can also lower your polling rate here. The updates tab provides frequent firmware updates, stability fixes and new features. You'll be notified with a pop-up and a red indicator when an update is available, but you can also check manually for updates. And if you ever need to restore or reset your keyboard, the help page is also the place to go. And that's pretty much it. If you're actually looking for more details on specific features that are mentioned in this video, then make sure to check out the playlist linked in the description below. Or of course, you just look it on YouTube. And that's all. Thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next one.